Hey, this is Mike. We're starting a new series here. It's called Ask the Engineer Student. And uh, so we're checking out a uh, Trailhawk, 2015 Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk. And this one has, as all the Cherokees have, the nine speed automatic transmission. And uh, one of the things I get asked by people is that why do they just keep ratcheting up the gears? Why does it, you know, four speed, five speed, six speed, now a nine speed transmission? What's the difference? What, what What's the benefit? So um, I wanted to go ahead and ask Matt, my buddy Matt here, he's an engineering student at UNC Charlotte, and uh, he's a whiz at explaining stuff. So <laughs> if you can just kind of give us a summary on why the extra gears are and why they matter. Okay, man. So I'm, I'm a motorsport engineer from UNC Charlotte, so we, um, we deal a lot with um, like automotive technology and why things are um, trending the way they do. And recently we've seen a shift in the automotive industry from you know, larger displacement engines like V8s and big bores like that down to smaller engines with higher tech features like variable valve timing and multi-port fuel injection. But recently what we've been seeing is um, an increase in the ratios in the transmission. And in order to really understand what they do, you have to understand how an engine operates. Um, engines obviously spin at different speeds to create different power. And the faster they spin, the more power they're going to create. And also the more fuel they're going to consume. And in different driving situations, you want different amounts of power. If you're starting off or going up a hill, you want the engine to spin faster so you can have more power to accelerate quicker. But if you're just cruising on the highway, you want the engine speed to slow down so it's not spinning as fast and burning as much fuel. So you want a way to keep the engine in its optimal running, in its optimal range. And that range is called an engine's power band. With these transmissions, the more gears you have, the more ratios it has. And it's like a, it's like a circular lever, for, like, like a wrench. The longer the handle is on the wrench, the easier it is to turn a bolt but the more you have to go, the more you have to turn the lever. So when the more gears you have, the lower you can make your first gear. So the more the engine can turn and produce more power. And when you divide the um, gears up more, you have more pieces and you can break the RPM down range, the break the RPM range down in several more pieces. So the engine can shift into a more optimal range to um, achieve either higher fuel economy or more power. It makes sense to me. It makes really good sense. So the power band is a certain RPM range that's the optimal amount of fuel and also power for the engine. So there are two characteristics that an engine produces. An engine produces torque and an engine produces horsepower. They're two different things. A torque is a force on an object that wants to make it cause, to cause rotation. Like when you turn a bolt, you're, you're applying torque to it. Horsepower is the actual power, like watts. It's the amount of energy that you're inputting in it. So you can graph the two characteristics. You have torque and horsepower. And as the engine RPM goes up, horsepower increases and torque de decreases. And where they meet is where the engine is producing the most horsepower at the same time it's producing the most torque. And that's the engine's power band. And the more gears you have in a transmission, the better the vehicle is the better equipped the vehicle is to keep the engine running in that specific range, which is going to create a better scenario for most of your driving situations. It's going to increase your fuel economy where it's needed and it's going to increase your, um, your power when it's needed. That's awesome. Awesome. Good way of explaining. I appreciate it, Matt. And if anybody has any questions for Matt, uh, he's going to be visiting uh, fairly frequently. So if you have any questions about engineering, about how cars work, anything at all, just leave them in the comments. We'll be glad to, to uh, try to get make a stab at them anyway. <laughs> and uh, so thanks for watching. Thank you, Matt. And we'll see you all next time.